Hi, I'm Ron Newberry, and I manufacture Speedy Sharp, the most versatile compact sharpener you'll ever own. This is a demonstration on how to use Speedy Sharp. There are two methods in which to use the Speedy Sharp, sharpening and honing. Make sure your thumbs are flat on the side of the Speedy Sharp and your knife. Then hold the Speedy Sharp and your knife back to back so that the carbide edge and the knife blade are opposite each other. Then make an X with the two objects, tilt the Speedy Sharp at the sharpening angle, usually about 20 degrees, and slide the Speedy Sharp up the blade. Once you reach the end of the blade, go underneath and do the same thing. Always keep the carbide edge on the blade. After the blade has been sharpened, there will be a tiny burr along the blade. To remove it, use the honing method by turning your Speedy Sharp so it faces the same direction as your knife blade. Make an X, then tilt for your angle. Then just slide it backward up the blade on both sides to give your knife a nice clean edge. A serrated knife requires a different technique, otherwise the Speedy Sharp will get hung up in the gullets. So what you do is use your honing method and go backwards in both directions on both sides. Just a few swipes are all you need. Again, there will be a slight burr on the back edge. To remove this burr, use the honing method again, but this time keep the Speedy Sharp flat and slide it up the flat edge of the knife. To use Speedy Sharp on a pair of scissors, you will only sharpen the cutting edge, never the flat edge. Hold the Speedy Sharp perpendicular and then slide it up the blade. As before, once you've sharpened the blade, you will have a slight burr. To remove the burr on a pair of scissors, pull the blades apart, then close the scissors, making sure the two blades don't make contact with each other until the scissors are fully closed. Next, squeeze the blades together and then pull them open, which will remove the burr. For an axe or hatchet head, you want to do a heavy cut. Turn the speedy sharp so that it's at a 45 degree angle against the axe head, and with a heavy grip, push it across the head, using a little more pressure than you would when sharpening a knife. It may take several swipes to make it sharp, depending on the condition of the head. You can see the rust fly off as the Speedy Sharp cuts a nice sharp edge into the head. Use the same technique for the other side. For pruning shears, you only need to sharpen one side of the cutting blade by holding the Speedy Sharp at the same angle that's already on the shear. After a couple of swipes, you're ready to go. For box knives, it's faster to sharpen them than it is to change the blade, which saves you both time and money. Since razor blades don't usually get very dull, you only need to lightly hone both edges like this. A few swipes on each side and you're back to work. For one more demonstration of the Speedy Sharp, here is an old, dull, rusty blade. Just hold the Speedy Sharp at an angle and make a few swipes over the blade on one side, then flip it over and do the same motion on the other side, and it's sharp and ready to go once again. The Speedy Sharp has hundreds of uses, including horseshoe blades, fish hooks, and dental tools, and is small enough to fit in a wallet or in your knife sheath.